Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. That's about as much energy as you're gonna get out of me right now. Um, if you're new here, I am Lisa, obviously, name in the account, but I'm currently in prep for my first bodybuilding show, which is on April 15th. Today is February 27th. I am a little bit less than seven weeks out. Um, sorry, that's my dog. And I'm turning and my water bottle just fell. Fuck. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> There's a goddamn intro for you. Anyway, as you can tell, this is an explicit recording and I don't filter myself. Anyway, if you have been watching, then you sort of know the deal. Um, I am not going to lie. I'm struggling a little today. Um, I know my last video or two last videos ago, I don't even know, one of the recent videos, um, I was letting you guys know I was feeling a little preppy, and, um, I am sorry, I'm going to pick up kids and she hates going to the school, um, okay, we're going to try this again with the dog growling in the backyard, background, I'm buzzing her. I'm buzzing her. She doesn't give a fuck. It's a choice. Anyway, um, yeah. Stop it! Kiss my fucking life, guys. Stop! Okay. So, like I said, I'm struggling today. Don't I look like it? I look like a fucking mess. No amount of energy drinks or caffeine is making any fucking difference. I am exhausted. Hunger is fine. Um, it was only those two days last week, but like... <laughs> I can't even record a fucking video. <sighs> this dog killed a fucking rabbit this morning. Insert picture of part of a rabbit that was brought to our door. Yeah. Um, anyway, I'm... Words, 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 words. Um, I'm a mess. I'm a fucking mess today. Yeah. Um, I'm just doing everything I can to literally just get through it. Um, one foot in front of the other. Not every day is going to feel like this, but today fucking does. And, um, yeah. Um, I think it's just the culmination of six days a week of um, training between CrossFit and strength training, working full-time, running a business part-time, being a mom, wife, dog mom at the moment who I'm really pissed off at her. And like, I have like real responsibilities, you know, it's not like I can just ignore phone calls and shit like that. Like, I can't just go in a room and be, um, like, check out. Like, I still have to be mom. I still have to be boss. I still have to be coach. And it fucking takes a lot out of you. Like, it's not just running around and doing all the things, but, like, the emotional expense is what I'm feeling. Like, with my clients, I, I'm all in with them. Like, I'm on the journey with them. I'm not just giving, telling them what to do and like, that's it, you know? Um, 
I'm available to them 24 seven. So when they're going through shit, they're talking to me and I'm trying to talk them off a ledge and, or they're doing really, really well. And I'm proud of them and I want to make sure that they feel that. So yeah. Um, I'm just feeling like, um, no one put my battery on the charger, you know? So yeah, I mean, I told you guys I was going to fucking record the good, the bad, the ugly. So here you fucking go. The circus. Um, it's really interesting because I am two months in and the sad little under seven weeks out and, um, I was just thinking and actually just talking with my coach, like I expected prep to be harder. So like, yes, I'm having a day. Like I don't even call it a moment. It's a fucking day. I'm having a day, but like everyone has those days at some point, you know, so whatever, get over it, bitch. Um, because overall though, like I, I don't feel like this prep has been hard yet. And I don't know if it's because like, I haven't gotten to the hard part, so, like, maybe, I don't know what I don't know, so anyone who's already been through a prep, like, you can just enjoy fucking laughing at me right now, but, um, oh shit, my daughter's here, I'll finish this later. Alright guys, we're gonna try this one more time, um, so I'm gonna try and keep my head blocking the, uh, light bulb behind me so that you can actually fucking see, but let's be real, I'm not that much to look at, so, it's cool, um, left off um should probably go back and look at whatever video I literally just recorded um well, the point of it was I'm fucking tired uh anyway yeah so um I know I talked in the last video as well that like I'm trying very hard to not like take it out on anybody so like trying to not be snippy and crabby and like pre-annoyed any more than like I normally am. So yeah, I thought I was doing pretty decent at that, but like, I don't know. Now I'm not so sure. Um, although I don't know, I'm not being snippy. So I just talked with some coworkers about something with one of the doctors. And so they were just like, are you okay? And um, again, I look like this. I'm like, I, yeah, I guess, you know, and they were just like, I don't know. You just don't, you don't seem right. I'm like, well, I'm fucking tired. So yeah. And like, I don't have the energy to put up with like extra bullshit, I guess. So I just remove myself from those situations. Um, so like I, I don't know, I'm just interacting a little bit less at work, but like, also that just is helping me focus and get my shit done because I don't have as much focus as I could otherwise. Sometimes that just changes day to day anyway, but like, yeah, I'm just head down, like just doing my fucking thing, I guess. And while I'm there, I still have to do like obviously my work, but like, I still have to get my meals in. I still have to get my steps in. So I'm going to the bathroom all the time and I'm taking the long way and I still have to be mindful of everything I have to do. So, and I'm tired, like, I'm sorry, but <laughs> they were just like, you know, the one girl was just like, you know, um, it wasn't until like last week where all of a sudden like you walked by and like, I could really tell. And I was like, that's cool. I mean, supposedly now is when you're going to start, like, I'm going to see more rapid changes, I guess. So that's how it's supposed to be, you know? And she's like, yeah. <laughs> and the other girl was like, is this, is this worth it? Like, you don't seem happy. And I was like, I'm fine. I'm just quiet. I'm just being quiet. I'm just, again, head down doing my thing. But apparently I'm not covering up and being normal as I think I am. So like when I'm tired, it's, you can tell. Okay. Um, 
do I have a lower threshold of tolerance for things? Probably. Um, I don't have a really high threshold of tolerance for things to begin with in terms of like bullshit. Um, but I'm not going to pussyfoot around things. I think if anything, it just like, I'm just getting to the point faster on stuff. So I don't know. I don't know, but, um, yeah, I guess, um, now people can tell I actually, there is actually an anesthesia provider that is only there, you know, maybe a couple times a month. And she actually came in my office as she was leaving and she's like, are you okay? And I just looked at her and I'm like, what? And she's like, you have lost a lot of weight. And I was like, oh yeah, no, I'm doing this thing. And so I explained it to her and she's like, oh, okay. I was worried though. Great. So it's just kind of funny because like I've heard, you know, from watching other two people's like YouTubes and stuff that, um, like when people start asking if you're sick, you know, you're getting close. <laughs> so I guess I'm getting close. <laughs> right. Um, yeah, it's probably best that my mom lives in Florida because she would be like, dear, this is healthy. It's like, I'm not gonna stay that lean. Also, I'm not even as lean as I need to be. I personally, like, I don't know if this is what they mean by, like, prep goggles, but, like, I don't think I'm that lean. Like, I think I'm, like, average looking. Like, I don't look fat or anything but I don't feel like I look sick, skinny. You know what I mean? Like I don't, I don't know. I don't know. And then, so I had my coach kind of tying into that. I had a check-in with my coach yesterday and uh, we were going back and forth actually quite a bit throughout the day over a few things. So, um, you know, overall, again, my rate of loss is still very consistent. It's about a pound a week, give or take. And I was just telling him that, like, I don't really have a whole lot to report with this check-in. Like, I had the two, the hunger issue the two days, but other than that, like, it's basically the same as before. We just talked on Thursday, you know, like, and he goes, no, no news means, like, things are going well. You know, overall, you're still maintaining your consistency in the gym, you know, you're maintaining your consistency with your food, like everything's running on cylinders. It's not abnormal, um, to not have anything to report. It's a good thing. And, um, you know, it just kind of reminded me that like, I've lost like 23 pounds, 23 pounds since I started with him. So that was like end of June or something when that my original coach just like fucking bailed on me. So I was like 148 ish, a little bit, maybe 149, uh, somewhere in that. And I'm like 127, 126 right now. So it's 20 something pounds I've lost since basically July. So that's six months, seven, maybe seven at the end of February. Yeah, which is like crazy to think about because number one, I don't feel like I look like I lost 20 pounds. I also didn't think I had 20 pounds I could really lose, but turns out it did. <laughs> um, yeah. And I don't know, it was just weird like when you put it in that perspective, I was like, oh shit, like I guess I've been doing some things. Um, I don't know. That just kind of like sat with me. I don't know if this is even making any sense. Words again, like thoughts aren't connecting, but anyway, um, so we were talking yesterday and I know we dialed in before about having the show on April 15th, which puts me at a little less than seven weeks out. Um, that's OCB Midwest States in DeKalb, Illinois. So it's only like an hour or so from where I live. Um, but we've just, like, this whole time, we've been leaving it open on, like, what division I was going to do, and we are going to have to decide sooner. And he's, like, so about that. Like, we're getting to that point where we need to decide. 
So, um, you know, I need you to think about like what division you feel more comfortable in, stuff like that. And he's like, you know, with the posing, I know you're just starting to learn the figure posing, but like, how are you feeling about it? He goes, looking at your front pose, you have a very strong front pose for figure, which is great. He's like, your side poses have already improved from like your first um, set of check-ins you sent a couple weeks ago after you first did your figure posing session. Um, he's like, your back pose, we definitely need to keep working on because you're showing a little bit too much roundness, like with your traps and your shoulders. So you know, we need to keep working on that um, with your posing coach, because I have a separate prep coach from posing coach. And, um, but he's like, I think, I think you could reasonably be a contender for figure for that. You fit the standards. We just need to show it with the right posing. Um, so he's like, kind of need to get your thoughts. And I gotta be honest, like it took me a couple hours to answer him. Number one, cause it was, that came in the morning after my check-in. And so it was like all the morning bullshit, you know, and then work and stuff like that. So I didn't answer him till like lunchtime. And I don't know, I felt like I was just, yes, I'm having a Diet Pepsi, shut up. Um, the fuck was I talking about? Oh, it was literally in decision paralysis. I was like, I don't know, I don't know what one to choose. And I feel like it's, I get, this is like bullshit, but I'm like, oh, I feel like it's a big decision. But like, let's be real, picking my division in a bodybuilding show, like, First world problems. What division am I gonna be in my bodybuilding show while I'm not eating as much food as is available to me? Like, come on, stop it. But, your bitch is a perfectionist and I don't wanna make a wrong choice and I don't wanna fuck myself over. So like, I went back to my list of potential shows, like natural shows this spring that I had sort of started looking at that were close by. I don't want to have to fly or anything. I want to be like drivable um, and not too far drivable. Like the max I'll go is down to Indy, which is like two and a half hours from me. Even that's kind of a stretch. So um, there are two for OCD in my window of time. One is this one in DeKalb that I'm doing and one is in Indy in May on May 6th. So I was like, okay, well, we know that if I want to do figure, I cannot do figure in an NPC show, which is um, a non-drug tested, but more popular federation it was NPC. But I still want to try one of their shows. We just know that I would have to do bikini. So that would leave figure would make the most sense to do a drug tested show. And OCB is probably like the biggest drug tested federation. So it would make sense to push for figure in OCD shows. So I'm like, so that's kind of what I'm looking at here. You know, um, I would want to do OCB in one of the, at least one of these, the April 15th or the May 6th one. I guess my question is like, does it, like, do you think I will actually be ready? Because I don't need you blowing smoke up my ass. like. If I will not be ready for figure on April 15th, I will fucking do bikini. I don't want to be wishing I had a better package. Like, we will still have more time to do, you know, lean out a little bit more before that 5-6 show. So, like, coach, I need you to be fucking honest with me. And then, um, I think my other question was, like, how much does the leanness vary between the different federations. Cause like I haven't been to some of those shows, so I don't know. And then the other question obviously is how long do you expect that I will be able to reasonably hold stage leanness before we have to reverse out? If you hold it for too long, you really fuck with your system and I don't, don't want to do that. So he kind of responded with, um, you know, leanness can vary, not even just federation to federation or show to show, but literally like judge to judge. So he goes, you just have to sort of go for what you and your coach feel is your best package and just have confidence in that package and do your best to display it with your opposing. So he goes, to really say between different federations, it's kind of hard. We just need to, between us, collectively decide like this is their best look. When we see it, we will know. So 
I don't know. Um, then he said we probably have like max a two month window. So if we do the April 15th show, we wanna have everything wrapped up by June 15th. So that was good to know. And then he said, you know, yes, I think if we can hammer your posing and get that nailed down, I think it would be reasonable to do figure in your April 15th show even just to sort of test the waters, get the bugs out, so to speak, based on what the um, feedback is from the judges in that one, we can either do figure again in the May 6th one for OCB, or there's like a bunch of shows that day, like different shows all over that regionally that day, must be a really popular weekend. Um, we can choose to do a different show instead of that one, but just know that you have that as an option. So, there's also like one that's like 20 minutes from my house. Um, that's I think it's a Natty Revolution show. So we might just do that for like, I don't know, practice, I guess. Um, yeah, so, and then I do, I do want to do an NPC show. Like I said, knowing it's not drug tested, I will only do bikini for NPC. Um, and we can throw one in. There's a whole bunch um, in like May and June. So like early June. So I could do that as like my last one and then get out or something. I don't know. Um, but that's kind of, I think, what our plan is. That's my long version of the fucking check-in. But it, it was really hard to decide. It's like I don't want to make the wrong choice. So now I'm like obsessing about my fucking figure posing because... We practiced bikini first back in December thinking I would do that first because we didn't, we knew we didn't have to be as lean for bikini, but now based on like the show preferences and stuff, we're going to push for figure. So I really need to get on my fucking game and the figure posing is harder guys. It's so much harder. So, uh, that's that, that's that deal. Um, you know, as I'm still not going to register for the show yet because you don't have to. So I'm just going to wait. Um, but then like within that show, within the figure division, then there are, you have to choose like different, um, classes, I think they're called. I don't know. I don't know. But basically like you can compete in just the novice, which means someone has never won an overall. Maybe it's competed once or twice. Then there's the open, which anyone can sign up. They could have, they could be veterans of it. Like it doesn't matter. Um, then there's masters open, and then I think masters now. There's like four or five different things like I could potentially sign up for, but like you have to pay for each one. So you, I don't want to do all five of them and pay for all five of them, especially when I have like two other shows I want to do. So we're gonna have to figure that out and nail that down. Uh, I don't know. I'm just gonna different work coach on that I guess um let's see I definitely have physique updates to give you guys uh, I just finished eight weeks in so I've been doing prep for eight weeks um I just finished the eighth week on Sunday so I've got all my body stats for comparison to show you guys like month to month and like from beginning to now the progress as well as progress pictures but I have to do another in-body scan tomorrow. I'm planning to do it tomorrow on my rest day, so I would like to have that before I go over all the numbers with you. So that will be later on in this video. And... I don't remember. I'm sure you're like, bitch, you said you're so tired. You said you don't have any energy. Why are you on the fucking treadmill? I just walked in the door. I put my stuff away, and I was like, if I sit down... I will not get back up. I will not. So what I decided to do is I want to get to like 10, oh, I said 10,000 steps. I'm at 10,574. I'm done. So I wanted to get to 10,000 steps so I could literally like shower and just sit down for the rest of the night. I sent my husband a text because I'd have to be leaving again right now to go get my son from swimming. And I was like, yo, can you please go get him after our anyway hope from work? Like, I don't care if he has to wait a few minutes. Like, 
I've been up and down this road between the gym and home and work and home and uh, blah, 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 blah. I've already been up and down the road like five times today and I'm just fucking tired. Can you please go get him? And he was like, sure, no problem. So again, I have the hardest time asking for help. And then when I do, he's just like, okay. Like, <laughs> I don't know why I make such a big deal in my head. Um, but anyway, I just came straight down to do these steps because I would not want to be pacing around my room at the end of the night. I would not want to be any elliptical at the end of the night. I literally just want to lay down and I don't want that hanging over my head. So I'm going to go do that now. I'm going to go shower and I want to sit the fuck down and I hope I can go to sleep early tonight. I need to go to sleep early tonight. So anyway, peace out. I will get you guys the next update, which will be physique updates in comparison and data because I'm a huge dork. All right. Thanks for watching so far with my weird little TED talk and my brain um, not functioning well. <laughs> I appreciate you. Um, but more to come on the physique comparison after. <laughs>
I told you guys I was going to share it all. So, anyone else's kids pull this shit? You got any other ideas to deal with this shit? You let me know. Alright guys, I told you I would go over my stats. So, I'm actually sharing my spreadsheet here just because it's easier. Um, so, I'm just going to be like a little floating head. So, don't you worry about that. So, um, just wanted to go over some of my stats here. As you can see, I've literally kept a daily stat from my scale um, that goes over like my pounds, my BMI, body fat, all that fun stuff. And then I take measurements. Um, I've taken them about once a month, but I'm probably going to do it a little more frequently now. And then I will go over my in-body scans and compare those two. So um, what I did is I actually just made a summary here because I figured it would be easier. I'm not going to go day by day or week by week. So just wanted to start out with um, month one, um, my weigh-ins on 1231, which was like the day before or two days before I actually started prep. I was 137.5 and by the end of January, I was 131.6 and by the end of February, I was 127.8. So my net change was 9.7 pounds since we started at the beginning of this year. So almost 10 pounds down in uh, about eight and a half weeks. So that's actually a really good rate of loss. My BMI started at 20.9 and went down to 20 and then went down to 19.4. So my BMI decreased by 1.5. My body fat started at 19.4%, went down to 5.8 and then went down to 14%. So a total change of 5.4% loss of body fat, which is pretty good. Um, and you'll see like the most dramatic change was actually that first month. And then that second month was almost about half of what the change was in January. Um, as you get lower in body fat, it's harder to move that needle. So that's expected. But a 5% reduction in body fat at eight weeks is actually pretty good. Uh, and then I have my measurements. Um, bust, I lost about almost an inch each month. So I'm minus 1.75 at the bust. And again, that's like where like the bra strap hits, not across my tatas, which probably is about the same, but um, it would be like where your sports bra band would be. Waist, I started at 27.5, went down to 27, then went down to 26. So I lost 1.5 inches on my waist. The um, biggest loss was the second month in January, which is interesting. That first month I only lost a half an inch. So go figure. Glutes lost two inches, which obviously we want our glutes to stay larger because that's obviously you don't want to see muscle loss, but many females hold fat in their glutes. So I'm not surprised that that was where I lost the most around of inches because I do carry some in my booty. Um, so I lost about one and a half inches in that first month and only a half an inch in the second month because there's less to go. And then I have my hips, but what I meant by hips was literally where my hip bones are. It's kind of different from where other people measure their hips, but from where my hip bones are around, I lost about an inch and a quarter. Right bicep, I lost a half an inch. Again, it's a smaller appendage, so I wouldn't expect a much larger decrease. And also my upper body is what just started out leaner anyway. So there's not as much to lose there. My right thigh, I actually lost an inch and a half. Again, first um, month of it, I lost a full inch. And then the end of February, I only lost a half. But again, there's less to lose at this point. So overall, I think all of those are really, really good. I'm pretty pretty proud of that progress. Actually, I think this process actually helped me because when you're having a rough day and you think that you're not making progress, like this is why I always tell my clients to collect their data because you're going to get frustrated at some point. You're going to feel like what you're doing isn't working or your, your mind starts messing with you and you can't see those changes. And I feel like I'm kind of in that spot. So looking at this, like I've lost 10 pounds in eight weeks. And prior to that, I had lost 10 pounds in like five months. So pretty drastic. Um, and it's just been consistency, honestly, just following my plan, following my plan, giving no room for error. So um, that is that. 
Um, as for my data, I expected to have a lot more changes in my macros. So I had actually been um, listing out what my targeted macros were here and then where I was landing, which I guess if you guys wanted to know like my day to day variance, I could probably figure that out. Let me know. Drop it in the comments. Um, my water intake. You can definitely see like it started at like 128, 140, 150, and <laughs> it's been up in 150, 200, upper 150s, 170. So water in intake has definitely increased. And then I have all of my recovery data from my whoop here. And that's like HRV, my strain, my recovery percentage, amount of sleep I'm getting. And then I'm recording my steps here. And, um, my strain has been just about the same. I don't know that it's really increased. And what I am liking to see is this HRV getting in the upper 50s and 60s because that's actually really hard for me. So the fact that I'm still able to have these recoveries when I'm sort of feeling a little run down um, is good to see because you don't always feel as recovered. But if your body is giving the biofeedback that it is, that's useful. Um, and then I just recorded how much cardio I'm doing per week, like at CrossFit, because our um, workouts can vary greatly in their length. So I wanted to have that data, like if we saw a plateau, like was that week less cardio, stuff like that. And in this column here, um, I tried my best. I wanted to record like how hungry I felt, my energy level, things like that. And I kind of just stopped recording it. And couldn't remember because it was too long ago, but I did the two days where I was really hungry last week. I put those in at a four and I remember my energy levels. Um, but beyond that, I really, I don't know. So, and then the last thing is strength. So I have recorded and I have my different like workout tracker, but I put all of this into this prep tracker just because I wanted everything together. So, um, I sort of I've just been tracking everything that I have programmed and how well I have been maintaining or improving or decreasing in my weight. And I would say with back squat and my hack squat, I recently have noticed a little bit of decreases. Um, some of it is variance day to day, but I think that's where I'm noticing a little bit of the potential muscle loss. Um, hopefully not too bad, but then like other areas, you know, doing almost the same amount of reps, pretty close. I've actually been able to either maintain or increase, um, you know, how much I'm pulling or, you know, whatever it is. So that's all actually pretty good. I think, um, I'm doing a pretty decent job of maintaining my intensity so far. We'll see how the next couple of weeks go before the show, but that's kind of the overview here. Um, the only other thing I actually wanted to touch on that I didn't put in that summary was my muscle mass and my muscle quality, because obviously that's a measure of my lean muscle. So I started out 105 on average with a muscle quality of like 75, 73. And as of the end of February, I was at 103, 104 with a muscle quality of 72. So I've maintained my muscle quality fairly well. You can see the last couple weeks, it's been a down a little bit. And while I'm not super happy about that, it looks like I've lost maybe about a pound of lean muscle. It still is dancing around. Um, again, looks like maybe in the past week, it's gone down a little bit, but um, I feel like for the, for losing 10 pounds, um, only having one of it potentially being muscle is decent. Um, I would say we want to minimize that as best we can. So just wanted to point that out. Um, I will go over my in-body scans in a separate video in just a sec. All right, guys. So I'm going to go over my in-body results. Um, I have the picture of my January one up here. And I will show you the most recent one from this morning in a second. But there are some things like at the bottom here, it's going to show me on my recent one what the history was, but it doesn't go over some of these other things. So I just wanted to cover that first and then I will show you. So this was last done on January 4th. And at that time, I weighed 136.7. Again, it was based on their scale. 
I'm pretty sure that I had not ate or drank um, this morning. I had already drank because I was fucking thirsty. So sorry. Um, but it's close enough. So this is the stuff that was not in the, in the comparison. So I wanted to go over this. So total body water back in January was 88.2. And this morning was 87.3. So actually a little bit less pounds of water. My dry lean mass was 31.7 pounds and this morning was 31.5. So according to this, my dry lean mass only went down by 0.2. So that's really good from my perspective. Body fat mass in pounds was 16.8 pounds and today was 12. So I lost about almost five pounds of fat mass, which is what we wanted to lose. So that's great. By lean mass showing as pretty much consistent, only off by 0.2, that means that we are targeting fat loss very well. Um, so those are the things. Oh, let's see. And then the segmental lean analysis here. Back in January, my left arm was 6.7. Today, it was 6.57. Right arm was 6.97 in January. And this morning, it was 6.86. Left leg, January was 18.21. This morning was 18.12 and for the right leg, January was 17.86 and today was 17.68. The trunk back in January was 54.5 pounds and this morning was 53.5 pounds. So in terms of my segmental lean analysis, obviously they all went down because I lost weight and body fat. Um, but in terms of my appendages and stuff like that. It doesn't look like we've lost a lot of lean mass, which is perfect. So I am going to actually open up here my one from this morning. Just give me a second. Okay, so you will see here are the total body water, dry lean mass, body fat mass, and my weight recorded. My weight recorded this morning was much higher than my regular scale weight. My scale weight this morning was 137.4, I think. No, I'm sorry, 127.4, duh. Um, but I had already had 32 ounces of water. So plus any random variances between the scales. So that accounts for that. Um, so again, my skeletal muscle mass was um, pretty much well preserved um, which is what we wanted to see. And these are the numbers I just went over. So at the bottom here, you can see the weight. It will show you, here's the column for January. Here's the column for March. And according to their scale, I was down, um, uh, about six pounds. Skeletal muscle mass only went down by a little bit less than a pound, which is great. Body fat went down by about 3%. Um, there's said that I was 12% when I started in January and I know I was not. Um, I feel like my home, like I said before, my home scale, I think is far more accurate. Um, and then it recorded 9% body fat for, um, this morning. And I'm sorry, a woman walking around at 9% body fat doesn't look like this. Like a woman to get to 9% body fat is just fucking peeled to the bone. So again, I know that there is some inaccuracy in that percentage, but it's all relative. It's still showing a loss. I just, I would never go around telling people if they ask my body fat percent, but like, yeah, my in-body said 9%. Like it, it's not, it's not. And I know that. So you have to use your brain when you're looking at these, but if you're using the same scale, the same measuring thing, you can at least utilize um, the relativity. So what is it showing? It's showing I went down to body fat. Great. That's what we want. So anyway, like I said, you have to take it with a grain of salt, but it's kind of neat. You know, um, I know that in February I did the E-Volt, which was far more detailed and stuff, but my normal home gym, it just has the in-body, the E-Volt. I had to drive further and I just don't like doing that. So that's the situation. I feel like overall, I guess I'm doing pretty good. I've lost fat, maintained majority of my muscle and um, not holding extra water. So I guess that's good. All right. Um, that's enough for that comparison there, but I hope that made sense and I didn't run through it too quickly. 
obviously feel free to freeze frame if you really wanted to get into all the nitty gritty details of my body stats, but let's be real. I don't think any of you care. So, all right, that's it for now. I am outside taking a walk with my little friend. Um, it's actually like 50 degrees here and the sun is out. It's March 1st and um, we finished up with our cases at my work early and I decided I just, I needed to go recharge my battery. Um, I still have to finish my work at home, but I'm taking my quote unquote lunch break to walk this damn dog. Um, but I just felt like I needed some natural sunlight and I needed to take advantage. So even though it's 50 degrees, I am wearing a outerwear type jacket plus my winter jacket. Plus I've obviously got the headband around my ears. And I have gloves on because your bitch still gets cold. So um, I actually have a pretty decent amount of steps for today already. I've got like 7,500, but I'm just taking a leisurely walk, listening to a podcast and just trying to reset my brain. So that's what we're gonna do. Hey guys, I actually have a new Instagram handle. I have it up on the screen here. Don't forget to follow me on Insta and subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much.